Do you walk uprightly? Who is he that shall dwell with the Lord on his holy hill? He that walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks truth in his heart that does not backbite or do evil towards their neighbor who sees a vile person as despised and honors a person that fears the Lord. Those who keep their word even to their own hurt and change not. He that does not lend money with unreasonable interest and does not take reward against the innocent. These people that live this way shall not be moved, but the wicked and their dead works shall pass away. Do you walk up at me? Do you eschew evil works? or embrace them? Do you shun what is evil or follow it, entertain it, or enjoy it? Do you abstain from the things of this, the flesh, even mortifying the deeds, or do you indulge in them? Understand this, that everyone who partakes in the works of the flesh will also partake in the cup of God's wrath and destruction. And what are the works of the flesh? The works of the flesh are manifested in this, murder, hatred, envy, obnoxiousness, lying, homosexuality, men behaving as women and women behaving as men, stealing, dishonesty, fornication, adultery, uncontrollable anger, greediness, filthiness, disorderly and immoral, and anything such the like. These are the works that originated from Satan, the father of sin, the father of the children of the flesh. For whatsoever is born of the flesh is flesh. That is why God says, after his seed mingle with the seed of Satan, taking them as wives. He said, my spirit will not dwell with men always, for they are also flesh. Our physical bodies were dead because it operated in dead works. Works of the flesh, which is sin. The Spirit of God has brought life back to our bodies. And when the time is perfect, we shall receive new bodies that are non-corruptible. And we will not only have life, but life more abundantly. But, in, but if anyone tries to preserve their life, they shall surely lose it. But if anyone lose their life for faking all for Christ, they shall preserve it. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us, and greater is he, Jesus, that is in us, than Satan that is in the world. That is why the devil is called the God of this world, who causes man to worship the created versus the creator, to even worship men as Satan's image as God, causing them to take the mark of man in their foreheads and in their hands, saying they can neither buy nor sell unless they have this mark. We have to understand that God has called us to pick up our cross daily. Unless a man pick up their cross every day denying themselves, they cannot be a disciple of Christ. There is no off or on button. There is no such thing as dealing, having your life and living for Christ at the same time. Jesus said we must take up our cross every day. Not once a week, not twice a week, not three times a week, but daily. Denying our very selves for Him. Every day when we wake up, every chance that we have on this earth to live, it should be for His glory. Everything that we do should be to give glory to the Father. Even those of us who work in this world, work in daily jobs, we should do all things to the glory of God, not abusing this world, but working to have what we need and not being greedy for more, but in all things being content. If we have our needs, that's what we should be content with. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to admonish you and ask you, do you walk uprightly? For those are the ones who will dwell with the Lord. Amen.